factors affecting the resistance. Okay, now let's see uh, the factors affect the resistance and what make the resistance of a conductor higher and what make it uh, lower, okay? So there are four factors that affect the uh, resistance of uh, conductors. The first one is the length. Uh, the second one is the cross-sectional area. The third one is the temperature. And uh, the last one is the type of material, okay? So we are going to discuss this one by one in the following slides. Okay, now the first factors that affect the resistivity of a conductor is the length, okay? Uh, resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductors. So from here, we can see that if we have two wires uh, made up of same material, the longer wire will have a uh, higher resistance. Or the longer the resistors, uh, the higher the resistance. And uh, this graph also shows that the resistance is directly proportional to the length. Eh? Okay, Because this is a straight line passes through the origins. So it shows that the resistance is uh, directly proportional to the length. The second factors that affect the resistivity is the cross-sectional area. These are the cross-sectional area, okay? So this one has a small cross-sectional area, and this one has a bigger cross-sectional area. And uh, resistance is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the conductors. Means that the larger the cross-sectional area, the lower the resistance. So these two uh, resistor, it has same length and is and is made up of the uh, same material. Uh, the second resistor has bigger cross-sectional area. We can see it here, and uh, therefore it has lower resistance. So this these conductors has lower resistance, or this resistor has lower resistance. Now, uh, from the graph, from the graph we can see that. Um, it's a curve, okay? So the curve like this shows that uh, the resistance is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area, okay? If it's a straight line passes through the origin, then it's directly proportional. Eh? But if it's a curve like this, then uh, it's uh, inversely proportional. Now, sometimes some student may wonder why, why the bigger cross-sectional area, uh, the lower the resistance. Let's see this example, okay? Let's say we have uh, some electrons, eh? okay? We have some electron, and this electron, you want to pass through this uh, resistor, okay? Let's compare these two cases, eh? okay? So these are the electrons. So from here, we can see that if the cross-sectional area is small, then it can only allow small amounts of electrons that pass through it at a uh, a certain amount of times, eh? okay, at a fixed time. But if the cross-sectional area is big, then it can allow more electrons to pass through this resistor, okay, at a given time. So therefore, uh, the resistor with bigger cross-sectional area can allow more electrons to pass through, okay. And uh, as a result, the resistance is lower. Okay, yeah, because if the resistance is high, then the current should be low, eh? okay? Current low means that less electrons can pass through, okay? But if more electron can pass through in a, in a given times, means that the current is high and therefore the resistance is low, okay? So remember, uh, if the resistance is high, the current is low, eh? and if the resistance is low, then the current should be high. How about temperature? The higher the temperature, the higher the resistance. So a conductor with a uh, higher temperature has a uh, higher resistance. Eh? Okay, now let's see this case here. Uh, if we have two wire, same length, same cross-sectional area made up of the uh, same material. So if the second one has a higher temperature, then the resistance of this uh, resistor will be higher. So wire with higher temperature has higher resistance. Now the last factors that affect is the material of the resistor. So different materials have different resistivity. Now uh, in SPM, usually you are asked to compare the resistivity of copper wire and iron wire. Okay, so you don't need to know the resistivity of 
all materials. Uh, okay, so you just need to remember the resistivities of uh, copper wire and uh, iron wire. And um, actually, you don't need to know the exact resistivity. You just need to know which one is higher. Okay, so if they ask you to compare the resistivities of copper and iron, so then you should know that the resistivity of copper will be lower. Okay, so for example, if we have two resistors, same length, same cross section area, and uh, same temperature, then the copper wire will have a lower resistance compared to the iron wire. So the copper wire will have lower resistance. Uh, Okay, so because different materials have different resistivity and uh, the resistivities of copper is uh, much lower than the resistivities of ions. Okay, that's why in, uh, in the cables and in the wires in your house, eh, okay, so the materials, the materials of the wire or the materials of the cables is copper. Yeah, so we use copper as the materials of the wire because it has low resistivity.